Hey my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So you guys seem to really enjoy my last curly wig revamp video. So I decided to do a straight version of that wig. In today's video, we are going to be revamping this bone straight unit. And this is a frontal unit, but this technique applies whether it's a frontal or a closure unit. There are a few different steps, but as usual, I'm going to keep it as beginner friendly and as simple as possible. I'm also going to be walking you through the whole entire process so if you're new to my channel hi my name is terry and i create beauty hair and lifestyle videos so if that's something you're interested in then definitely consider hitting the subscribe button down below and also hit the bell icon that pops up right next to it <laughs> so you never ever miss an upload from me i have a new video up every single week without any furtherance let's get right into this video so the first thing we're going to do is give this thirsty unit some water. If your wig isn't a synthetic wig, it means the hair has actual hair follicles that need to stay hydrated. But that being said, washing your wigs too often damages it and vice versa. So you have to find that sweet spot in between to always, always make sure you're maintaining your units. I'll be using my Shimmer Lights shampoo, the purple one, to wash my units and I find that this shampoo is not as harsh, not as stripping and not as drying as, as other shampoos. And I do my best to really focus on the lace because that's the part that gets to touch my skin. So I have to make sure that that side is extra clean. But notice I'm not washing the wig like a dirty rag. No, you have to remain gentle but make sure that you are getting the dirt off. Mostly using the tips of your fingers and running your fingers through the hair gets it clean Next up, I'm going to be taking my Aussie 3 Minutes Miracle Deep Conditioner, my silicone mix hair treatment. A mixing bowl and a plastic spoon. I need 3 tablespoons of the silicone mix treatment. and a generous amount of my Aussie deep conditioner. Yes guys, this is my miracle mix that always, always does the trick. I'm just going to slather that mixture all over the hair, focusing on the lace section once again, and then working that down the hair. I sped this part up a lot so we don't spend forever here. So I'm going to take my detangling brush and run that through my hair and you're going to find that after applying this mixture, it becomes super super easy to comb through the hair. Once I'm done with detangling, I'm going to bag the unit, clean up my work area a little bit and then I'm going to put the wig back and pour some hot water over the wig. Make sure the water is enough to have a whole tub of it around the unit. I'm going to leave this to sit for at least 5 to 10 hours. Some people do 24 hours. You can do that if you want to, but I just did 5 to 10 hours. So this is the next day and I've drained out all the water so you can get a closer look at the unit. As you can see, she ready. On camera, I'm sure it looks really, really soft. And I'm here to tell you it's just as soft as you see it on camera. The heat from the hot water really opened up the hair follicles, enabling the treatment and the deep conditioner to really, really seep into the hair. It's the same principle as when you're trying to steam your natural hair with your protein treatment cap or something. Is the same basic principle. 
Since I was treating this wig, I took the opportunity to treat my other wigs too and <laughs> And they all turned out looking just as good. I think I have six units in total and I'm just going to work on all of them today. Yep, this is me having a productive ass die. So the last step here is to air dry the units and I like to dry my wigs in a closed area, not directly in the sun, but indoors. All right, so now that she's all dried up, it's now time to style. So from here, you can just go on and style it as you normally would, but please remember to apply your heat protectant, especially if you're going to straighten your units like I am. So I'm just going to speed this part up, but the products that I used are my wax stick, my heat protectant, and this hair sheen serum from ORS. I also have a steam flat iron that I'm going to leave linked in my description box down below. I'm actually going to leave all those products linked in my description box down below. So feel free to check out any of these products if you're in need of any of them. Links, direct links to them are going to be in my description box. So this is the final look, a major difference, yeah, from the before and the after. Please let me know if you found this video helpful in any way whatsoever. Let me know in the comment section down below. And also why not join the family by hitting the subscribe button down below and also turn on your post notifications so you never ever miss any of my weekly uploads. <laughs> I'd love to see you in my next video next week. But until then, bye! <laughs>